Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about lipstick. Now about 18 months ago it's reported that lip gloss sales had eclipsed lipstick after a decade of juicy tubes and all the lip glosses being the most popular thing. It was almost like that sort of generation had never even used lipstick and it sort of started to get a slightly old-fashioned feel about it. Now, in the past year, I'm sure you've noticed, all the really big fashion houses have launched their signature lipsticks, and lipstick is definitely back. Lipstick sales are way up again, and if anything, I think lip gloss, although it'll always be there, is very much on par again with um, lipstick. So, I'm going to show you four different things you can do with one lipstick. Because if you're going to invest in one of these incredible designer signature lipsticks, it's nice that you can get value for money and that you can wear it night and day and get lots of different effects from it. So I've already done most of my makeup. I've used the Bio Detox by Bourjois as a foundation. I've used concealer. And for my eyes and brows, I've used this Brow and Eye Palette by Givenchy. I like it because it has two colours that are great for brows. You can, I mean, you can use all of them for everything. I've used this colour on my lid and then the lighter sort of brown into the socket line and I've used the dark brown shade as a liner and also underneath. Then I've used some Lancome Doll Eyes Mascara. The other thing that I really like about this palette is inside it has really cute brushes. It's got an eye lining brush, a brow brush and the best thing of all, these miniature Givenchy um, eyebrow tweezers which I just think they're actually really good. I've just taken all the strays away with that and it's really cute and it just is kept inside the box. Okay so moving on to the lipstick. I've chosen a Tom Ford lipstick and this is from his new range. It's called Black Orchid. There was a Black Orchid in the original 12 lineup that launched last year but um, he's relaunched it and it has a little bit of shimmer in it. It's a similar colour but it has slightly more shimmer in the reason I'm choosing this colour is because it's pretty unwearable. Most people would look at it and think, oh my god, I could never wear that. So it's a really good way, a really good colour rather, to demonstrate the different effects you can get from just one lipstick. So to start with, I'm going to use the colour as a stain. Now you can use absolutely any colour. I'm not saying you have to use this dark purple. I'm just using the dark purple as a good way to demonstrate the different techniques, but obviously choose whichever colour you like. Um, so I'm going to use my ring finger and just dabbing into the lipstick, a little bit on there, and then just begin dabbing gently. And if you need a clean finger, use your middle finger. Let's just smooth in. This is a really nice modern way to apply lipstick, especially if it's a bright colour or a dark colour. And it's a perfect look, either for every day or if you're going out in the evening and you've got really dramatic eyes and you want to wear a bright colour on your lips but you don't want to look too overdone. It's a really nice way of doing that. And you don't need to use a sort of lip liner. You can do, if you want to, just use a very natural one afterwards just to correct. But the whole point is that it should look really really natural and almost as if you've just been eating berries so you've got all the texture the natural texture of your lips and you've just got that hint of color really sheer so that's a really nice stain that's the first thing you can do with any lipstick and if you choose a sort of classic formulation most of these signature fashion house lipsticks are cream textures so they're quite pigmented they're not too matte they're not too sheer they're just sort of real classic cream textures so they're the best ones to get right next I'm going to put a little bit onto the back of my hand and then I'm going to use again my ring finger and just really warm the lipstick up and really sort of smooth it so I've got a lot more blended on the finger this time and the second thing I'm going to do is start to apply it as a blusher so I'll just put a little bit on and then use your middle finger which is clean, just to start blending it in. Now it needs to be done, as it would with a cream blusher, on a non-powdered surface. So when I did my foundation earlier on, I just powdered down the centre of my face and I left my cheeks quite dewy. I also put a little bit of Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector on there. So 
it sort of helps to smooth in and also it gives a nice sheen. So just build up slowly and you want the colour to be sort of starting around the centre of the cheek and then making sure that you're blending it up and out. It should look really, really natural. Now in the same way that cream blusher works best if you haven't got a lot of blemishes on your cheeks, same with lipstick. So if you've got, you know, if you happen to have acne on your cheeks, then I would skip using lipstick as a blusher. But if you've got a couple of marks like I have or the odd spot, you can always conceal after applying, applying this. So I'm just going to build up the colour. And you can see how fresh that colour looks. I mean, it does look pretty dark there. And I think when you see that in the shops, you'd never think that would be a brilliant colour as well for daytime. You know, very, very pretty and pink and natural looking. And for that reason, I tend to think that, especially if you're on a budget and you're going to invest in one of these fabulous designer lipsticks, whether it be a Tom Ford or a Chanel or a Dolce Gabbana or a Armani, in a way, it's better if you're just going to buy one colour to get something like, you know, a, a stronger colour. So maybe a little bit stronger than maybe you think to wear every day because you can get a lot more out of a strong colour. You can really sort of have it quite soft and, and natural. You can have it where it's a stain. And then you've always got the option, you know, to have that amazing colour and that real full on lip in the evening. And maybe for your everyday lipsticks, your sort of neutrals and things, you know, buy a cheaper brand. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do with this lipstick is really apply it as a classic, classic lip. So we're going to up the ante now. And the third way to apply lipstick, so imagine I'm sort of starting from scratch again, is to apply it with a brush. This is an Illamasqua brush. And then make sure you really coat the lipstick. So twisting it to both sides top and bottom. So you get a nice even coverage there. And then just start to really work the colour into the lips. So just pull your lips taut and really start filling in all those little wrinkles on your lips. Especially for the first coat. The more you can do this, the longer the lipstick will last which if you're going to wear this colour or any bright colour or dark colour full on, you're probably going out in the evening and you do want it to last. And I think one of the really lovely things about owning a beautiful lipstick is the application itself, this type of application, you know, with a lip brush. It really is such a lovely ritual, very reminiscent of old Hollywood or our grandmothers. I mean, they didn't use lip brushes, but you know, they're sort of sitting at the vanity table, really painting your lips. And then the whole sort of touch up thing, you know, bringing the mirror out and touching up your lips in public. And it's very, very feminine. And um, there's just something lovely about it. I just, I love all of that. So my first layer, I'm just going to follow the natural line of my lips. So a little bit wonky like most people's. But don't worry about that, just get your first layer on and then you can give a blot. Now, before I do my second layer, I'm going to use a lip pencil. This is a Rimmel one, this is black tulip. And then I'm just gonna look into the mirror and keep it soft, you don't want a harsh line. I'm just going to make a couple of adjustments, so where my lip needs to be a bit fuller on the bottom. And rather than just draw a line, feather it into the lipstick that you've already done as well, so that you're not ending up with some horrible, severe line. And you can always use your finger just to pat it in. So I'm just extending this corner down a bit because it's a bit smaller. Actually, this lip pencil is a little bit dark. You'd have to be very, if you're heavy handed, make sure the lip pencil either matches the lipstick or is a little bit lighter because then you've got freedom to, um, you know, you don't want to end up with a really dark line all the way around the edge, really severe. I'm going to go in with this slightly lighter pencil and just soften all of that. 
Okay, so now for the second layer. Now you can either do it again with the brush um, to start building up again, or you can do it the way we did with the stain, but this time get a little bit more on because we've got a good guideline already. Start to really pat it in. Either way, just make sure that you're staying within your your new guideline. And then once you're out, if you need to do a touch up, obviously you want to show off your fabulous new lipstick, you can just do pat it on. And just make sure those edges are soft. And this is an amazing colour. It's quite full on, but I sort of love it. Okay, so the next thing you can do, and that's taking it on one stage from here, is to take half a tissue, so a tissue, not half a tissue, a tissue split in half and blot inside, turn over and using the clean side, just blot the whole lips. So we're back to having a stain again, but this time it's a really intense stain. Now, what you could do, using your other half of your tissue, is you could put that onto your lips, taking some powder, and just gently roll a small amount of powder over. And the effect you'll get is not a complete matte, but you'll get a sort of velvety effect, so like a deep velvety stain. So that's another thing you can do. Or you could make this glossy, which is what I'm going to do. It's kind of like five ways with lipstick, actually. Okay, so you can either use a sheer colour. This is a juicy tube. It's not available anymore, this colour, but something that's in a fairly similar colour vein, um, but it's not shimmery and it has sort of transparency, if you like. Or you could just use a plain old clear one. I'm going to use, I think I'll try the colour one, and apply straight onto our stain. And just use any of the wardrobe of lip glosses that most people seem to have, you know, whether it's a sheer that has a bit of shimmer in, which will totally change the way your lipstick looks, or something like this that's a similar colour, or even, you know, a lighter colour or a darker colour that again will give you the glossy effect, but also slightly change the colour. So it's another way of getting more mileage out of your lipstick. And that's pretty much the most full-on way you can wear lipstick. Two coats, really well put on, with liner, blotted, and then full-on lip gloss. You can't really get a stronger lip, whatever colour you use. So that's it. That's five different effects you can get using just one lipstick, no matter what colour it is you've gone for. So first you've got the stain, the very natural-looking stain, which is brilliant for daytime. Um, but also good for evening if the rest of your makeup is quite intense and quite strong. It, yeah, a stain always looks really modern, I think. Secondly, you can use it as a cream blusher. And always lovely to have that kind of lip and cheek that tie together. You know, they're almost the same colour. I think it's very, very chic. And even doesn't matter what effect you're doing on your lips. It's nice to have that kind of underlying similar tone. There's the classic way, which is just with a lip brush, beautifully applied, two layers, gorgeous. And then there's the two sort of extra ways of finishing off that type of lip. So either to again blot it and have that really quite intense stain, either with a little bit of powder over the top to give a slightly velvety finish, or gloss, whether you want to use a lighter gloss or something with a bit of sparkle in or a bit of shimmer, or something like this, which is a similar colour to the lipstick. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you soon.